Welcome back to Word Game Wednesday. Today we're going to start with the Quartal, and we're going to start with Stick and Angry. And down here on the bottom right, we already have quite a bit. S-T-I-R. It could be T-R-I-P-S, Trips. No, so we have the R and the I in the right place. A T and an S, so the S is going to have to go fourth. The T is going to have to go last. So it could be wrist. I think I like that. Okay, there we go. What else do we have here? I wasted a, a guess there that I probably shouldn't have with trips, but let's keep going. Let's try to use, uh, let's see if we can't get some more vowels out there. Let's, will it accept mold like this? It does, I'm glad. Okay, so on the top left here, we have A-R-I-L. It could be other. What? It's otter. But I'm down to my last guess when I do that. Hmm. Yeah, I can't get any more wrong now. Well, let's just do otter. I'm thinking the top left here could be flare, like flare jeans, I think that's how you spell it. Okay, so that was a good guess. And now we have one guess to get this on the right, and I don't have a lot to go with. Yeah, I have no idea what this can be in the top right. I don't even have a lot of letters left to work with. I'm thinking we could have a double O potentially, but that wouldn't really make sense with where they're not. None of the letters I have left work really well with a K. It could be like bookie, but that doesn't fit. J. So see, I was thinking jerky, but that doesn't have an O and there's no Y there. Maybe it starts with an E. Evoke. Oh, I think evoke fits. That is a wild word to use. Double E's, a V, and a K. They did not make that easy today. All right, let's jump into our next game. So here's something I don't usually do. Six-letter wordle. I don't know what to expect here, but I'm going to uh, give it one attempt and see how we do. I'm going to start with dreams and pointy. And that gave me nothing. We have an R and an E, only some of the most common letters. Um, is, I want to see if ER is at the end. So what about, is a bucker a word, like a bucking bull or something? Perfect. So it does end in ER. It's probably B-B-E-R, and is it going to be, with what I have left, it could be rubber. So that wasn't too bad. Let's, let's do one more. I am going to start with the same word. I'm going to start with dreams and pointy one more time. Just trying to get my uh, C legs here, as they say. So we have M-O-D-E-Y. I want to check some new spots for some of these letters, so I'm actually going to go with... So I'm actually... I want to check some new spots here, and I know it doesn't have an O, but I'm going to do a medley. There we go. Whew, I thought I was losing it for a second. And we do have an L and a D and an O, so it's going to be melody. So six letter isn't that hard. So I'm going to add a new game to the channel. This is called Contexto. My sister actually showed me this game, and basically we guess a word, so let's start with person, and it tells us how far away we are from the correct word. I'm not super good at this game, so bear with me, but let's just toss some guesses out there. I like to try to guess stuff from different subjects, so let's guess like a color. Oh, green is really close. So is it something that is green? Money. No, it's not something that is green. Could it be another color? Blue is further away. Could it be like grass? Wow, I got the contexto in five words. This is not 
uh, typical of the Contexto. Usually it takes me 30, 40, 50 guesses. But I got pretty lucky, so I'm going to leave this one in. And we'll jump into one more final game. All right, so let's jump in here to the Daily Weaver. I feel like they're adding too many ads to this website, but that's just me. Pile to Heap, and I think I got it right off the bat. I think it's going to be Pill to Hill to Hell to Heal to Heap. And yeah, today's optimal, today's score. This was pretty simple today. Alright guys, so if you're enjoying Word Game Wednesday, don't forget to like and subscribe and keep coming back for more. We're going to jump in with one final game here, the Daily Duo Trigordal. There's 32 wordles here to solve. And I'm going to start with my favorite starting words since this is its debut on the channel. Let's go with Dream, Point, Flush, and Wacky. That means we have exactly one spare guess. So, nothing else to do but jump right in. So, the first word here is going to have to be probably C-R-E-M-E, -E, creme. Alright, word number two, we have W-R-I-L-S, swirl. We don't know enough for three yet. Four, we have, it's probably shyly. I'm actually going to go with that. And then let's jump down to the next set of words. FL, and then we have probably flare again. Perfect. P A S T E, paste. We have all the letters there. Here we have W I N and an O. It could be owing, but I'm going to go. Actually, I'll just guess it good and we got the g in there for some other words here we don't know enough yet so let's jump down to the third row of words we have s c o u t it's going to be scout what do we have here we have an o u l it's going to be a foul we already have this one solved all greens waste and then what is this going to be F-O-U-N-D, found. Let's jump into the next row. So we have an O-U-N-C-E, ounce. And then we have R-I-S-K. We have K. There's no F, so it's not frisk. It's probably brisk. We have two other Bs. You can tell how many places you have it by what lights up down here. All right, so in the next word here, we have O-E-N-T-K. It's going to be token. We don't have a ton here yet, so I'll come back. Let's go down one more row. We have C-A-M-E-L, camel. We have W A. It could be warrer, I think, but I don't want to guess that yet because it could also be, oh, it could be waiver. That's probably what it is. And then we have P-L-U-S-E. It's going to be pulse. And now we've officially guessed so many that it fills up the screen. We have R-E-S-S-E-R. -E -S -S it's probably going to be server. But I'll go back to that. All right, and then here we have UNT, and then we have an A. Could it be? No, it's not. There's no Y, so it's not Auntie. Is it? Is Junta a word? Yeah. S I N T. It's probably going to be stint. I like that. We have an S P E C K spec. What do we have over here? I T E. We have an N and a U, so it's going to be unite. 
All right, we're buzzing through these pretty fast. I'll leave a link in the description in case some of you guys have never tried this before. And it's fun. It just, it's easy once you get going, but you can end up in some scenarios where you have to make a choice between two words. So here we have S-I-T-Y. Hmm. It's going to have to be S-I. What could it be though? 60 S-I-X-T-Y. And there's one other X actually in the puzzle, so that's good to know. A-S-A-L. And what's left? Is it basal? No, it's going to be nasal. That's why I always have to double check. Then here we have B-I-C-E-P, bicep. A-S-T-Y, and we've got P, and we already had a P up there, so we already have this clear cross for pasty. And then we're in the final column here, then we'll go up and get what we missed. O-U-H. Is it going to be rough? Is there a G in here? Yep, there's a G in here. We have C-I-A-R. It's going to be cigar. We have ruler next already spelled out for us. And this is B-L-A. We have a Y. And I'm guessing there's a W in here. Yep, so this is bylaw. And we're missing five. So we have O-U-G-E. I'm thinking it's going to be a Vogue. No, it was not Vogue. And that was my last spare guess. So I think... Oh, it's Gouge. I misread the letters. Oh, I'm kicking myself. I have no spare guesses now. So we have E-N-T. It's probably event, but I'm going to go back to that. We have, what do we have here? E-L, X-P-E-L. It's going to be expel. I'm, I'm pretty confident. Okay, then down here we have W-A, I'm thinking it's V-E-R, waiver. Yeah, there's a V right there. Okay, and then we have S-E-V-E-R, sever. I'm just making sure it can't double back on me. Yeah, I'm pretty certain. So that leaves us with one final word. We have E-E-N-T, and we have the V, it's event. So we cut it right down to the wire, but we did solve the daily duo trigordal. Thanks for stopping by.